Thank you. <laughs> Mr. President and Excellencies, thank you for inspiring speeches. Distinguished guests, the beautiful Estonian seaside re resort city of Parnu has a population of less than 50,000 people. The flag of Parnu is blue with a white cross. Now imagine the unbelievable. The city of Parnu as a small country far away from here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You have 300 kilometers to your nearest neighbor. Now imagine the map of the North Atlantic Ocean, north of Scotland. You can see a few dots. One of those dots are the Faroe Islands. They seem small, small as pixels on a large screen. But like pixels, they are a small sample of the original image. The Faroe's flag is white with a blue and red cross, similar to Parnu's flag. In the Faroe Islands, the impossible is made possible. It is a population of size Panu, in the middle of the North Atlantic, a nation of its own, 50,000 souls with its own culture, its own history, and self-governing, speaking and writing our own language called Faroese. Yes, we are truly unbelievably small, yet the Faroe Islands is a Scandinavian welfare state and one of the richest countries in the world. The gross income per capita is likely higher than our neighbors in Iceland and Denmark. As the guidebook Lonely Planet puts it, the Faroes are like nowhere else on Earth. Adrift in the North Atlantic, these 18 forgotten islands are trashed by furious swells and are subject to some of the most finkel weather on the planet. And last year, the readers of National Geographic's Traveler voted the Faroe Islands as their favorite travel destination. One of the reasons uh, for our good fortune is that our maritime borders is a huge area over 275,000 square kilometers, Com compared to the Estonian landmass of 45,000 square kilometers. Truly a large country in size, sea size, even if the landmass is only 1,400 square kilometers. Of course, the fishing, the seafood, and the maritime industry is naturally our main, in, uh, main source of income but I can see great potential in new industries like tourism, arts, and of course in IT. Huge opportunities that we now are going to utilize. But why are we, a small nation in the middle of the North Atlantic, going full force into e-governance? Of course, because we have to. We are only 50,000 people. We have already lost generations of young people who left for the European mainland. Generations that would have made us richer if they came back. And we believe that they, they would be more likely to come back if we modernize and diversify our society and our industries. Digitalization is one of the most important factors in this development. It's not a question whether we do it. It's a question how we do it. Because talent is not an issue. We are a nation of well-educated people. Many of our young talents have been educated in the top-ranking European universities. There are various talents living and working abroad, running startups in Silicon Valley and in London, captaining some of the largest ships in the world and leading oil exploration for multinational energy companies. We formed a new government in 2015. And one of our key goals is sustainable development, economic as well as population growth. Extensive investment in e-governance on all levels is one of the factors to achieve this. And we believe that our investments will benefit all the citizens of the Faroes, young and old, and our businesses and government. 
We expect benefits like uh, improved public services, more cooperation between private and public companies, a more efficient public se sector as our population is getting older. Of course, also energizing our ICT companies to create more jobs and to become, become more competitive and to make the Faroe Islands a place where even you want to live. It may si sound as though we are in the Stone Age, but that's far from true. In retrospect, the Faroe Islands has already achieved great developments within IT. And I'll name you some examples. Our tax system, that is truly the envy of other countries, probably making our tax authorities the most efficient in the world, the result of a very successful private and public partnership. Our Faroese information management system for the public sector, that is also groundbreaking. We have even registered some patents of the system. We will have a presentation of this system at this conference. And our digitized healthcare system, integrating all levels of healthcare professionals and institutions from local GP to the heart surgeon. Is big beautiful? We all know that large scale economics has advantages, but being small and nimble also has it, its benefits. It is the small nations like the Faroe Islands, like Estonia, and Iceland uh, that most easily can adapt to new challenges and create innovative solutions for their people. The strategy for making the Faroe Islands a role model, model in e-governance is to embrace that small is beautiful. You know it's easier to turn a speedboat than a supertanker. And we have the opportunity to make things simple on all levels in a small society in the legal framework, in government, and in general. Just the fact that we have fewer systems by being small creates much less legacy and our ability to leapfrog to new solutions. That's why I believe that the Faroe Islands can become world-class in e-governance. But we all know that in order to reap, you must sow large investments are needed. And we have to pull together in the same direction. The people, the government, and the enterprise. From the smallest local council to the prime minister. From the janitor to the CEO. On all levels, we need to pull together. And we are looking for best practices from all other countries to reach our goals. And in late 2014, we visited Estonia to get inspiration about e-governance. The visit evolved into a partnership, and the Faroe Islands presented its first e-governance strategy in June 2015. Pilot projects have been in place in the latter half of 2015. We have exciting times ahead of us. We have already implemented X-Road based on Estonian architecture. We call it Helden. It's a beautiful fairy's word for a device used to carry uh, large bales of hay. This government has made e-governance one of its main goals. Next stop is digitized signature. Most likely we are going for a mobile ID solution. And our goal is within a year or so, that we can provide all ferry citizens with an ID solution that they can use to identify themselves. We will create a standard solution for a citizen portal that will provide them with access to public services and utilities such as healthcare, social security, banking, energy companies, etc. Our goal is to have a world-class digitized society that respects the liberty of our citizens. And like Estonia, we are saying that the information belongs to the people. We need to protect our citizens from prying eyes. Our reward is a better competitiveness. 
We are globally in competition for our people and for our businesses, and we want to become a role model for a truly digitized society, pro providing us with competitiveness in an ever-increasing globalized world. But as well as e-governance, we are also focusing on tourism, and we are united in a single brand that is focused on the part of a word, on. You will notice when speaking to uh, foreigners about the Faroe Islands that many words st are starting with on. Parnu, the beautiful seaside resort in Estonia, is undiscovered to me. And the Faroe Islands may be undiscovered to you. We are unspoiled islands and our nature is surely untamed. We also have many stories untold, including the story of a place with the same size population as Paranu that became world class in e-governance. That is unbelievable and we will become unbeatable. Thank you. <laughs>